The landscape architecture at its most academic is the artistic expression of the natural sciences. I usually like to say that it's the movement of people through space. It's any public arena that the public are able to walk through that doesn't have a roof over it. Landscape architects have the melting pot of a lot of different disciplines from ecology, horticulture, architecture, engineering to help to solve problems and create better, more livable spaces. Some of the things I like about this course is that it's so creative and it has an environmental aspect to it. You have to really consider the environment and everything that surrounds you, but also consider people who are involved in this environment. One of the actual elements that I enjoy most is the creative aspect because you get to draw and actually examine different scales, different drawings, really develop your ideas into concepts and then eventually you put that into your final plan. Students can expect to be taken on a journey. They can look right from how to hold the pencil properly and drawing straight through to master planning cities. Broad stroke looks at how whole landscapes are formed, right down to the minutiae and the details of how benches are designed as well as street furniture and how actual paving patterns can be laid. The core of the course is based in studio. So there's dedicated studio space where each student has their own desk and they treat that as their own hub for the four years. And then there are breaks, of course, to go to other modules and other subjects that they're studying. But it all comes back down to that studio, which could be for about 12 hours a week. Within that, then, they are looking at their own work one-to-one -one with tutors both visiting and other lecturers, and then that we're also going on a lot of field trips into Dublin City, down the country, and then abroad as well. In third year, we go overseas to a European city. The second half of third year is the internship. Some students take advantage of the Erasmus programme, which uh, they can study abroad. The Erasmus that I went on during the third year was so beneficial. It allowed me to explore my pursuit in a different area, in a different field. I went to a place called Versailles in France. I got to make loads of new friends and develop my own ideas. This Erasmus was based on practical elements. We got to really get hands-on with the environment and with the people. I think my degree has definitely impacted the way I look at the world. There's so many skills that you can develop while you're here that is uh, so important to you on the outside. Some of the jobs that I've been looking at is environmental planning and policy but also different aspects of the practical elements that come with the actual landscape degree as well. So I'd be interested in working on the ground, getting involved with county council, different communities and stuff just to rejuvenate and improve the sites. I have a great interest in urban design also, so this would also play a big role in my final decision. I would recommend this course to people who are very creative, who like the environment, who like getting involved with the community and also people, and who like solving problems. And to somebody who's looking to start on the journey of landscape architecture is to develop a curiosity or a fascination with the natural environment around them. If you are somebody who is concerned about climate change and where it's going, landscape architecture is something that can provide answers for the future. The most important thing is to understand that it is a natural science and that the curiosity and the willingness to explore that is imperative.